Okay, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to model the head, and then we're going to all we're going to have left after that is the neck to join the head to the body. So to get started with the head, there's a few different ways of doing this kind of head, but I'm just going to go with a box straight away, and then drag it out to roughly the size I want. So I'm going to put this material on it again, and just position it where I want it. So somewhere like this. Now I'm going to take all these segments out of it because I don't want to start with that many. And just line it up kind of roughly to match the reference again. And I'm going to convert this to an editable poly. And I'm just going to start to um, make some connections. So I'm going to put a connection here and move this up to there, I think. And I'm going to put a connection in here as well. So I'm just going to start to move these into position where I think they should be. So that'll go up there, and this will go kind of halfway along there. Same with this, and then this is just going to come in here to the chin. Now in my front view, what I'm going to do is put a connection down the middle, and just delete this half of the head. So now I'm just going to start to drag all these in to hit the uh, uh, reference. So this is going to come into the bottom of the chin. This is going to be the jawbone. Now, I want to make sure I'm positioning the right one. So, this one is the side of the head. These three at the back here are uh, the back of the head. So, they're going to come in quite a lot. And just kind of curve them out a bit. Just to keep the shape of the head going. Same with these front ones, these are going to come in quite a lot as well and create the front strip of the head that we want. So something like that maybe. So now I'm just going to add in a couple more connections. I'm going to add in a connection here and just basically try to get a bit of a better shape going for our head. So something like there. I'm going to put a connection here as well. Do the same thing. Just keep shaping it out. So now I've got these three verts here, or these four verts. I'm going to deselect that inside one. Then my top view, I'm just going to kind of round this out a bit. Oh, I need to deselect that inside one as well. So all I'm going to do is start to round out the shape of the head a bit. So same with this front bit here. So I'm just going to pull this out a little bit. Just to get this kind of curve going that we'd be looking for on the side of the head. And looking at this, this is probably going to come out as well. To have that same curve on the top. Oh, okay. Maybe it won't. I need to pull these back in a bit to kind of keep it closer to the reference. I think what I've done is just brought this one a bit too far out. Now they'll look a bit smoother. If we move these back in, this one out a little bit. Just so we have that kind of shape on the top of the head still. And now I'm just going to go back into this view again and start adding a couple more connections. So this point here could maybe come down a bit. That's the top of the head. What I'm going to do actually is pull all these up a little bit. Just to kind of round the top of the head a bit more. Just pull it all down. 
You can see we're not matching both views. It's kind of off. When I match it in the left, it's off in the right or in the front. So I'm just going to stick with the front and kind of just get the general shape in the left view. I'm going to put in another connection here. And again, just pull these out. And just keep trying to get this shape here. So this is going to start to come out. And this one is going to match the side of the head. Something like that. And let's see, we need one more up here, really, to get this last bit of shape on the top of the head. So just move them around a little bit, and then and just, let's see, I'll pull them all out for now, and maybe just put this back one in a little bit. And pull this one in a little bit as well, just to keep this shape here so it's not too severe. Just double check everything as I'm going. Okay, you can see this back point here is out too far. Just going to pull that in. To be a little more like that. Okay, and now I'm going to just start this bottom area. So I'm going to ring this and do one connection. And just start to position this as well. So move this out a little bit, move this out a little bit, and move this only a tiny bit because I want this jaw to be pretty severe. So that's going to come in actually to create that kind of shape for the jaw. So this is probably going to come in as well a little bit. Alright, so... Yeah, like I was saying, we're not going to be able to match it up in both views by the look of it. So I might just match it up in... this view. Kind of round out the jaw a little bit more than it is here. So, yeah, something like this. Kind of trying to keep the shape as much as I can, but I mean, there's going to be some points I just can't avoid changing. I'm going to just pull all these in a little bit. These are just the outside edge of the face. So, I mean, they want be exactly in line with the front of the face because the front of your face isn't perfectly flat. And just move all them around a little bit as well. Okay. Same with the back, just kind of round it out very slightly. Cause, I mean it does come in but it doesn't come in much at the start. So something like that should be okay. Um, so what are we looking at? Let's see. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six edges. And we're connecting down into this area here. So we're going to use probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to use about ten edges to connect. And we have, what did I say, six. Okay, so we need another one and another two connections. So what I'm going to do is just put a connection here and just kind of space these out a little bit more. I turn on my edge constraints to do this, in fact. Okay. Just spread those out a little bit to keep the topology fairly even. I think the top of this head is maybe coming up a little bit too much. Okay, so now 
do something like this. I just put all these up rather than just the middle one. Yeah, that's a bit better looking. Okay, so now what I need to do is in my top view, just get these new parts that I created. Just kind of round them out a little. And we've got this point here that looks a bit odd to me. Just going to pull it over. Maybe pull this over as well. Just going to pull this down a bit, in fact. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I'll pull all these down a little bit. Just something like this. Okay, so now we have a fairly rounded head. And we just need one more connection. So I'm going to just put a connection here. And again, with my edge constraints on, I'm just going to move all this over just to spread it out a bit. I'm going to move all these over and then move the next set to the right over as well. So all these are going to come down. Oh, turn on my edge constraints again and just slide these down a little bit. I'm going to turn off my edge constraints again. Just kind of get this front shape of the head a bit rounder. Okay, so now in my top view again, I'm just going to double check everything I just did. So, just going to pull them out a little bit. Maybe pull this out to there, this out to here, and pull all these forwards a little bit, I think. Okay. So now we have this, and if we turn off our x-ray view, you can see we've got the rough shape of our head that we want. So if I put a symmetry on this, and flip it this way, yeah, that looks pretty good to me. I'm just going to turn on my end result and just kind of position this a bit better. More like that. Yeah, and we can change any of this um, later on anyway, if we want to. If we feel like we've missed kind of some of the shape, like I can see here now. I could do it Maybe round this out a little bit more at the back as well. Yeah. Okay. Alright. And maybe this as well. Just rounding it out a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to leave this like this now. I think. Um. Just double check how many edges I have now. So I've got, yeah, let's see, I'm going to delete that symmetry again. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I've only got eight edges, so I actually need to make a couple of more connections, I think. Let's see, eight edges there. And, I'm going to be connecting to 3, I'm going to be connecting to 10, yeah, so I do need to put in these couple more edge loops. So to do this, once again, I'm just going to have to move everything over a bit. So I'm going to just pull this forward a little bit. Then when my edge constraints on again, I'm going to pull this down here a bit. Put in one more connection here. And I'm going to turn off my show end result. If you have end result on and you're in vertex mode, you can't actually see your vertices. So just make sure I have that off when I'm doing this. Just round all this out a little bit again. And 
and start to pull this bit down a bit maybe. And pull this down a little bit as well. Okay. So now I need one more loop still. I'm just gonna double check what I did here in the top. Make sure it's nicely rounded and you can see it's not, so I'm just gonna pull these out a little bit and then pull these out a little bit. Alright, now in my left view I'm just gonna do the exact same thing again. Pull this over a bit. I might pull these out a little bit more. Kind of thinking I'm getting a bit too tight on the top of the head there. Then when my edge constraint's on again, just pull this slot over a little bit. Turn off my edge constraints and just spread this out a little bit again. And now put this very last connection in that we need. And just make sure in our top view again that we have got this the shape we want. So that's going to come out to there. I'm just going to pull this. In fact I'm going to round out all the top of this again. So this is going to come over to there a bit. And then just kind of shape the top of the head a little bit better again. The way we had it at the start. So something like this. Now I'll just check all our views to make sure we haven't gone too far off. Looks pretty okay to me. And we've got pretty rounded head. Okay. Yeah, so now we have enough polygons on the bottom to uh, connect. We should have 10 edges here when I am uh, just deleting those polygons and yeah 10 edges so we've got the right amount of edges that we need now just gonna pull this in a little bit to kind of round out the whole shape a bit okay so now we've got our head done pretty much we're gonna we're not gonna do the underneath of the jaw like this bit I just deleted what we're gonna do is connect our neck to that and then we'll build it from there. So in the next video I'm going to go through modeling the um, neck and connecting that and then we'll be fully done with our character. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video.